Today I'm going to show you how I made this miniature bathroom. As you can see, it has a hidden storage space behind the mirror and also I tried something new on the walls. To make the wall with a mirror, I stacked two pieces of cardboard and cut out a rectangle. I added another piece of cardboard on top, turned it over and placed the cardboard piece on the other side that has a cutout rectangle that is twice the size of the previous one. Now use paperboard and popsicle sticks to create a shelf. I'm not going to glue the popsicle sticks down since I want to remove them to paint everything else. Now turn the wall over and add two pieces of cardboard with a cut out long and narrow rectangle. Repeat the steps to make a shelf. This time I'm just using paperboard because I want the entire shelf to be white without wooden elements. And once the paint has dried you can put the popsicle sticks back in place. I'm using paperboard, hot glue and mirror foil to make the sliding mirror door. At first I've decided to paint the frame gold but then changed my mind and went with white instead because I wanted the frame to blend in with the wall. As you can see the paperboard that I'm using is quite thick and durable but if you don't have that you can also just glue several layers of regular paperboard together. Now place the mirror door on top of the shelf and glue another piece of cardboard on top to keep it in place. To make the rest of the walls and the floor I'm using more cardboard. Since I wanted the walls to be thick I stacked 3 or 4 layers together before cutting out the windows and gluing everything together. And I'm also using newspaper and wallpaper paste before painting it to make it more durable. I wanted the walls of this bathroom to have different textures which is why I added 2 teaspoons of baking powder to the paint. The more texture you want the more baking powder you'll need. As you can see here I'm using my hands which also resulted in more texture which is something I only wanted on the middle wall and for the rest of them I used the brush. Now that the paint has dried I'm adding the rest of the frame for the mirror. Make sure to only glue them to the wall so that you're still able to open and shut the sliding door. To finish the shower area I made tiles by cutting paperboard into rectangles. The material is quite thin so I'm using glue stick to attach them to the wall and to make sure that they are secure I'm adding a layer of varnish before painting them white. These floor tiles are from a previous video. They are made from paperboard and contact paper which I bought in a hardware store. Now you'll need to make a straight cut along the edges of the tiles to insert a clear sheet of plastic and create a shower door. I've decided to add another one because I wanted to have a double shower. And because there wasn't enough storage space for towels and so on, I turned one of the windows into a shelf. To do that I used balsa wood, tiny pushpins, paperboard, paint and hot glue. These are the bathroom fittings from a previous video. To make sure it stands securely, I'm using a wooden stick to attach it to the floor. To make a tub, I'm using an empty laundry detergent bottle and an egg-shaped yogurt container, paperboard and nail varnish to make the toilet.
To make a sink and an under the sink cabinet, I'm using cardboard, big match boxes, paperboard, balsa wood, white paint, push pins and paper clips and for the water tap a lollipop stick wire and nail varnish.